Hello and welcome to my interview series. I'm Malia and today I'm here with singer-songwriter Eric Roberson. Eric, thank you for taking the time to do this interview with me. The pleasure is mine. So, you had a great year following, following the release of Mr. Nice Guy. What's next for you? You know, I, I honestly do not know. <laughs> I, I know doing more music. Um, you know, we, we toured a lot with that album. Uh, the album did very, very well. Uh, but on the same side, I, I just have another son. I, and I have two uh, baby boys. And uh, so I've taken a break from touring for a second to just you know, get acclimated from there. So where I go from here, uh, I'm kind of open to, I would say, more music, more shows, uh, more songs, and just a whole lot of fun. Nice. So... I love your collaborations with Marsha Ambrosius and Full Crate and Mar. Oh, what, wow. Yeah, what other artists do you plan on working with? Uh, you know, there's a guy named Stokely out there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would love to even just have him snap fingers on one of my songs. Um, but there's a, there's, a, there's a list. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of music in general, you know. And for me, um, a lot of times it just comes with, Whoever's in the room or whoever I meet up with, you know, on this last album, um, I ran into Chubb Rock at the airport. And that's how we ended up doing the song Summertime Anthem. Uh, the song with the group The Ones, they were from Chicago, but they were in town in Philadelphia recording. I just went to go see them. And the, the idea of doing a song together started from there. So I, I'm, I'm really open. I mean, uh, I would record with Lady Gaga if uh, if we were in the same studio together, and she was so willing to uh, not bar for me. But uh, <laughs> but you know, I'm just open in general to to work with some people, and hopefully, we keep those collaborations going. Nice. So, if you weren't a singer, what would your job be? Oh, you no, know, it would probably still be something creative. Uh, I don't know if I'll be a spoken word artist or I'll, I would start my own sock company. I'm really into socks. Like, 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 let me just show you real quick. That's like, uh, that's you know, awesome. it's, it's like, so, so I don't know if I would have a sock company. Or I'll be making like um, Obama t-shirts or something, but uh, it, it, it will be something creative. I, you know, I create songs now, but um, I might would be making, um, you know, uh, studio furniture or something you know I, i'll be open to to whatever maybe i i can't cook but maybe i would have tried cooking but I, I i what i don't think i would be doing is you know wearing a, a shirt and tie and punching a clock sitting behind a desk at some corporate place it just i don't know if that was my forte so what is a little known fact about yourself Ooh, uh, I make breakfast every morning when I'm home, and I every Sunday morning I watch CBS Morning News. It's like my favorite TV show in the whole wide world. Really? You know, that's probably that's probably the you know well, that's the that's the boring side of me, you know. Uh, and uh, and I'm a big time Giants fan, New York Giants, like every everything, go blue. I see yeah. you wearing blue. You're, you're a, you look like a giant. Yes, I do. Man. So, if I give you three words, Is that right? if I give you three words, could you do me a favor and make hmm. me a quick song? Yes. You will. Okay. Phone, refrigerator, Phone. and popcorn. Refrigerator. Phone, refrigerator, and popcorn. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, sitting here in my home, talking on what seems to be a phone. Maybe not, it's a computer. I'm getting hungry while I'm sitting here. Maybe I will just lend my ear to the words you said and you gave to me. And I'm feeling hungry so i open up the refrigerator and hopefully find some corn maybe i will make some pancakes but it is not the morn so i will just have some fun and i will take my time to pop some popcorn
on when I grab this term. So I'm hanging up the phone, no matter of fact, saying, oh, hold on. I don't think I need a refrigerator to eat my popcorn. Hold on. <laughs> That's how I was playing my make-believe piano. Nice. Thank you. Well, thank you for taking the time to do this interview with me. Well, thank you. Yeah, we will be looking out for more music of yours. Well, no. I hope so. You know, I, I, I try to put an album out every two years. Um, I should have started already. I got one more year to go for another release, so uh, I need to get it cracking. Nice. Well, again, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let me ask you, do you sing? Uh, no. <laughs> you don't sing? No. Can you break dance? No. <laughs> okay. I can't that's break dance. That's the only two questions I have. That, that's why I'm but I do dance, sort of like, play the guitar. So, oh, okay, yeah. Well, I look forward to a lesson in the near future. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. It was a great interview. Yep, bye. Right. Bye bye.